as I was meditating about this too, I was thinking about like, what's all possible when we allow that to happen for ourselves, when we learn to be compassionate for ourselves, when we really learn to have that compassionate understanding for others in our life, what's possible? And I thought of a story that I'd heard a, a few years ago um, about a man named Azim Kamisa. Many of you may know him. He's, he's done a lot of work in the years that uh, he lost his son. He lost his son to a, a, a tragic event. In 1995, his son was delivering pizzas, a part-time job while he was going to school. His one and only son with all this potential was shot down by a 14-year-old gang member. And Azim's story is powerful and it, and it just is really about this compassionate understanding and, and how much that can impact our world when we allow it to happen, when we receive it. And then when we allow what we receive to come into action, to come into uh, a whole new vision. When he found out about this, he describes it as an atomic bomb hitting his heart. And at the same time, he also speaks of his deep faith. He was a devout Sufi. He spent daily hours in prayer and meditation. And when he came out of his state, he said after he heard about his son and what happened, uh, it's like he had an out of body experience. And when he came back into his body, when he came back to you know, the physical reality of what just happened, he knew that there were victims on the other side that the young man that had done this horrible thing was also a victim. You know, I don't have time to tell all the story, but I urge you all to like dive into that because what happened for Azim is that he was able to, through a very, you know, it was a, it was a difficult process, but come to a place where he helped his uh, family to heal. He partnered with, uh, uh, Tony Hicks, who was the young man who murdered his son, he, he partnered with his grandfather. And they've done this work for 20 years where they're, they're really reaching out to communities who have this kind of cycle of violence, children killing children. And it, it's made such a hu huge impact in the world. So to let go of our judgments, to let go of our need to punish each other, to let go of all of that, to come to a place of true um, compassionate understanding for each other uh, is such a powerful thing in our lives. I know it is for me. Uh, I urge you to look into this story of Azim Kamisa and really look at how far this, this power of true compassionate understanding can go and have impact into the world.